Hi, I'm Bob Hart, President, CEO, and founder of True America Multifamily. True America is a leader in workforce housing in the Class B space. Uh, we began the company six and a half years ago in our headquarters in Los Angeles. The U.S. has changed in how it lives and works, and it has become a renter nation over the last 10 years, and it's a term of art that we've heard in various publications and quoted. And what we mean when we talk about the U.S. becoming a renter nation is we talk about the dramatic shift over 10 years from single family and home ownership to multifamily. About 10 years ago, the United States was 70% households of single family and about 30% households of multifamily. Today, that number has shifted by 10%, and multifamily households comprise about 37% of the housing stock, while single family has gone down to 63%. That has been caused by a shift in in American values. Uh, in the past recession, many people lost their homes and younger people watched their, their parents lose homes. They also prefer to be flexible and with delayed marriage and other factors of flexibility to be closer to jobs in urban areas, coupled with people simply living longer and moving out of households sooner, there's a greater demand for housing as a category, and the choice for that housing has been multifamily. So the lifespan of usage of housing has been less in a home living separated versus congregate living either as a younger person or as an older person. So the expansion of housing has been greater, but the shift has been toward renting that housing as opposed to owning it. And that'll probably be a permanent shift in this country. We'll see if it goes lower than 63%. It is held there. Um, there's still an attraction for uh, particularly older millennials to start buying homes, particularly with interest rates so low. And we, we definitely need a dynamic home building industry, which is a big part of our economy. So I think there'll always be that, but I think, uh, it'll be a long time before we shift backwards to being a home ownership nation versus a renter nation. In speaking with uh, investors, people are trying to figure out whether this current crisis that we're in, where we've put the U.S. economy and the global economy into a coma and slowed it down, which feels very recession-like, has will have similar fact patterns and attributes to what happened 12 years ago during the Great Recession that occurred. And in my opinion, these are two very, very different events with very, very different circumstances. 12 years ago, what led us to the Great Recession were financial investing in mortgages and free money for homeowners that weren't qualified to be homeowners which led to syndicated mortgages and a collapse of the mortgage market. Uh, that's not what we have here. What we have here is a healthcare crisis where we've basically kept people from working because of their safety. We entered this precipitously without any expectation or, or prior knowledge, and the economy was in a very, very good position up until this event in the past six weeks. So the belief is that when, when things normalize, we will come out of this, um, not immediately as many people might wanna be optimistic to think in a V shape, but sort of in a more gradual shape as we get back to work and we get back to normal congregating together and, and traveling and doing all the things that create a great economy. The real test for this situation, which also will drive real estate values, is how quickly and or, or how long we're going to be in a sheltered environment. And that's the big question right now. And there's too much uncertainty, but the drive is to get back to work sooner than later. Hopefully that will be met with 
safety and good health practices so that we don't end up in a reversionary situation where we have to go back to being quarantined. So these are two very, very different events. In the last cycle, we had too much housing and too much single family housing and too many condominiums being built for a sector of the US you know, population that really was, were getting mortgages without really being properly qualified. And, and that's what also has led us to become more of a renter nation because people have realized they don't necessarily need to own a home to achieve their goals. I wanna thank you for taking the time to hear my thoughts about workforce housing and the current uh, economy we find ourselves in. If you're, more, if you're interested in learning more about what we do at True America, please go to www.trueamerica.com and you'll see examples of case studies of projects we've done and how we invest in the markets we, we, we like and we welcome you, uh, your, an opportunity to work with you. Thank you, bye-bye.